experience with that wilderness, okay? And I want you to understand one thing. What we have here is an obvious homicide murder. We know it's a murder, okay? We know Justin's involved in it. And I think you know more about this than what you're telling. Honestly, don't. Well, just listen. Hear me out, okay? We're going to get Justin. If he brings your name up in this thing, we come back out, you're going down for first-degree murder, buddy. You see them coming after Richard right away, hard. But you can kind of see a thread, a train of thought that they're already having. And then as it progresses, that train of thought becomes the narrative. In other words, you kind of get a tunnel vision going on. We have too many discrepancies with the stories that you've been telling all these officers out here. The thing about it is, is that you don't want to give him a chance to concoct a story. You want to know what what his story is right off the bat, and that's why we have him down there. Around five, we hear a tapping on our side door. So I open the door and I see Justin, and I see that he's got a knot right here on the side of his head, right next to his eye. And he said he slipped and hit his head in the shower. And he told me it was a couple guns that got loud and out of hand, and they broke the glass in 102. So I told him, I said, well, clean it up, and then and that was it. They keep saying, we're going to find Justin. And they keep asking him, do you know where he is? He's, no, but I wish I did. He's your guy. We're going to get Justin. I, I wish you would. I really do. But it seems like they just really could not stop looking at Glossop. I'm just saying that when we find Justin and we will find him good, and he tells us his side of the story, when he puts you back in this, you got some serious problems. He didn't want to depart. You bet you will go to court. <laughs> He's, like I said, he was very arrogant and very cocky. He was one of those kind of guys that really irritate you, you know, with his comebacks and with what he was saying. And that's why I would get in his face sometimes. Well, I'll tell you what, buddy, or something like that, you know, because he irritated me a little, a little bit. Who the hell do you think I'm talking about? That's what pisses me off about you. Nobody asked me any direct Don't questions. Don't act stupid with me. I'm not. These stories have started to change a lot, and they're starting to point towards me. That's wrong. Well, it's almost as if they're not really even listening to what he's saying necessarily. But I got nothing against the man. They don't matter. 